The trapping, handling, and releasing of grizzly bears is a time-consuming, potentially dangerous operation. To capture a grizzly bear, you need to be in the right place at the right time. And in the fall of the year, when conflicts are the highest, it seems everything is happening at once. I've got five grizzly bear traps, including this one. And uh, two days ago, every trap we had was out. We go out and uh, physically check the traps every day. How Tim and I met, I was up in um, the Swan Valley. Tim was working on trapping uh, for a problem grizzly bear right across the street. I asked him, I said, what would a better bear trap look like? And I basically said, a culvert trap that we could monitor through the internet. So what we did is we took an industrial computer and we wrote a bear trap program for Actually, it that is meant to do exactly what Tim and the bear managers tell it to do. The way this trap works is uh, when the door goes down, I get an email or a phone call on my cell phone. The uh, camera that's mounted inside the trap allows us to see what's going on through the computer. And then if, for example, we caught a non-target bear, the ability to actually remotely open the door and release the animal um, and actually reset the trap so we didn't have to drive all the way back down to that location and do that. Sometimes we're trapping for family groups of grizzly bears and occasionally we'll catch a cub. And one of the most dangerous situations that we worry about is having a cub caught but not having mom caught. And so it gives you an idea ahead of time what you're getting into before you even get there. Funding for the research, development, and manufacturing of the automated bear trap was made available by one generous Montana landowner. This is Mike Grinette, out among Montana's Fish Wildlife Department.